Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Welcome back to, welcome back to the channel. But after that, welcome back to another episode of How to DJ Tips with your boy DJ Brandon. Today's cool video, I'll be showing you how to invert your laptop screen. Uh, this only applies for Windows. This tip is to help out all my DJs that operate on a Windows laptop, PC, whatever you use. If you use a desktop, you know, whatever. Um, or in general, if you want to invert your screen or whatever you're doing, this tip can apply it to you as well. But this one goes out to all my DJs. Shout out to all my DJs that'll be rocking Windows laptops. Uh, hashtag uh, PC Gang. Go leave in the comment section PC Gang if you're rocking with a PC or Mac Gang. Um, I'm personally a PC guy. Without a doubt, you do need some sort of shadow over your laptop because whether you're running a Mac or a PC, the sun is just too strong and it just blinds out the, you know, the freaking screen. So, but before we do start this video, guys, please go down below and hit that thumbs up button. If you guys have any questions, leave it in the comment section below. I will definitely reply. But most importantly, guys, subscribe and turn on that bell for more post notifications to keep up to date with all my latest videos and more just like this one this is how to dj tips with your boy dj brandon let's begin all right guys we are in my laptop inside physically inside what you guys are seeing is what i am seeing there's no edits there's no cheating in this straight up you know the truth now serato there's a lot of things they can do improve the library a lot of things one simple feature that I think a lot of DJs would agree with me uh, that they could have added was daytime mode, which is a little button that you click and it inverts the entire Serato program. So it makes it easier for us, the DJs, to see outside where the sun is hitting. You know, that sun can be a son of a and it doesn't let us DJ. For Apple users, I believe there's a button somewhere on here. I'm not an Apple user, so I'm not completely sure where it is, but I know there is a button or a shortcut that you could hit and it inverts the screen. Now, Serato does not have that on Windows, but there is uh, two ways that I know of that you could do it. I've been doing this for like a year, but I have been lazy and not uploading a video about it, which is kind of mean. So I decided to share it with you guys today. The first one is pretty simple but then again it's not the best but uh there is ways of doing it so the first one is you want to hit and hold the windows key and then you want to hit the plus button windows and plus so first hit the windows and then plus and it's going to bring up this magnifier so press and hold the windows key and the plus button and then it should bring up this little pop-up that says magnifier. What this does is it allows you to zoom in into your screen. Obviously, you want to have it set at 100. Um, if you go into the settings, it will take you to the settings and allow you to mess with it. But you don't got to do all that. So it pops up. The next thing you want to do is hit Control, Alt, and I. And it inverts your screen. Now, if you're asking yourself if you have to keep this little windows open or up in here uh no you can close it out like that but then again um if you close it out completely the entire inversion is uh over so that kind of sucks so that's one way it's not bad if you uh, don't remember the other one now the other one is better a hundred times better in my opinion uh you want to go ahead and open your settings um whether you're in seven eight or ten it should be the same thing um and then you want to go to ease of access click it and then you want to go to color filters and then now there's a bunch of stuff here uh follow the directions you want to turn it on and it's going to turn your screen grayish so everything's going to go grayish blackish uh second thing is you want to allow the shortcut key to toggle filter on and off what this will allow you to do is basically um by following these commands right here uh which is windows key control c it will allow you to turn it on and off now this is not going to do any justice outside so what you want to do is hit inverted reverse colors on the display now you want to make sure it is like this exactly like this otherwise it's not going to invert the screen now what i like about this one is you could you know you don't even have to open anything up you could be directly in serato and you want to hit uh, windows key control c so i am doing windows key control c you can turn it on and off you don't have to open anything nothing is open i think it's 
pretty cool it's pretty simple you know it's not the end of the world serato doesn't decide to do that for us there's always ways out there hopefully you guys found this video helpful uh let me switch cameras real quick so there you guys have it hopefully you guys found this video helpful and or entertaining i know it helped out a lot of you guys that were looking on how to invert serato it can't get any easier than this besides serato actually adding a little button but besides that i think it was pretty straight on you know to the point and clear um so i think i deserve myself a thumbs up guys um do me a favor and go down there and hit that little thumbs up button i would really appreciate it and if you guys have any questions comments or concerns leave it in the comment section below i would definitely reply but most importantly guys don't forget to subscribe for more cool videos like these and most importantly hit that bell so you guys can get notified whenever i upload another video this has been another episode of how to dj tips with dj brandon till the next one guys peace